In this video, we are going to learn how to add and edit menu items using Menu Setup and explore the additional options available on the General Menu Setup tab in the Restaurant Manager back office. I'm going to skip most of the introduction in this video, so if you have not yet watched the Menu Setup Overview, it is recommended that you start there. Adding and editing menu items in Menu Setup is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. The first step in adding a new menu item is navigating to the menu group that the menu item belongs in. As you saw in the Menu Setup Overview, the plus and minus signs are used to navigate the menu tree. I'm going to expand the Food menu to display the menu groups and then expand Appetizers. I have not yet added any items to the Appetizer menu, so all of the 30 available items are listed as Not Defined. Clicking on the first Not Defined item will display the Item Setup options. There are three basic fields that need to be configured when adding a new menu item. The item name, item price, and prep area printer if needed. For this example, I'm going to add Super Nachos. Clicking in the item name field will allow me to enter Super Nachos for this item name. Next, we have to add the price of the item. There are seven price levels displayed on the General Menu Setup tab. To add the item price, click in the first price level field, which in this case is the normal price level. Now you can enter the desired item price. Once you have entered the item price, be sure to press the Set All to Price 1 button. Pressing the Set All to Price 1 button is a very important step. There are 14 total available price levels in Menu Setup that can be configured for different times of day. Pressing Set All to Price 1 will make certain that the menu price is consistent through all price levels. Price levels will be covered in greater detail in an additional video. Now that we have the item name and item price, the last step is to define the prep area printers if needed. Clicking the drop down arrow will display the currently configured prep printers. I'm going to select Kitchen so my Super Nachos will print to the Kitchen printer when ordered. If you are unsure which printer to use, or if you even need to select one at all, you can look at a comparable item that is already configured and select the same printers. That is basically it. Now we will be able to order Super Nachos from the appetizer group on the point of sale station. Just remember those three steps, item name, item price, and printer. 